Hello, this is Doreen O'Donovan from Trip Tris Travel Agency. I'd like to tell you some things that you can do while in Ketchikan, Alaska. Most people arrive by cruise ship. As soon as you disembark, you'll see the visitor center right there next to the port. Many tour operators will be waiting for you to help you decide what you might want to do while visiting Ketchikan. You can choose from float planes, bus tours, hiking tours, or even lumberjack shows. We decided to take a float plane to go to Neats Bay to see the black bears. The view on the way to Neats Bay was absolutely beautiful. It was especially nice because the weather was clear. We arrived at Neats Bay and got set up with our photography equipment and the bears were ready. They come every year to this area to feast on the salmon that are spawning. The bears were very busy fishing and we didn't have to worry about them. They didn't seem to be worried about us. You can see we were very close. My brother and his family decided to take a float plane to the Misty Fjords National Park. They had a beautiful view of Ketchikan as they left town. You get such a unique advantage point of Alaska when flying over it. The National Park is very much like Yosemite except that it's much bigger and has a lot more water. It was a highlight of our Alaskan cruise. Often the float planes will land and give you a chance to look around. You may also want to take a visit to the Totem Bight National Park. Always be prepared for rain when in Ketchikan. You can take a hike around Ward Lake to see the rainforest or Take the Rainbird Trail hike above the city. The Alaska Discovery Center provides a nice overview of the state. You go shopping along Fish Creek. Watch local artists do their craft. Buy gifts that are difficult to buy at home. If you're a quilter, stop by the quilt shop to look for fabric that's unique to Alaska and also quilt patterns that are very unique. Don't forget to buy some fish to take home to your friends. I recommend walking all the way up Fish Creek to watch the salmon jump over the rocks as they head towards their spawning ground. You can go fishing by renting poles right there on the creek or take in the lumberjack show. The theater is right next to the dock. You can take a bus tour to Herring Cove with a stop along the way at the Totem Heritage Center. At Heron Cove, you are likely to see some more bears, although they're often pretty far away. And, of course, it's possible you won't see any bears at all. I hope you've enjoyed this tour summary of Ketchikan. Please let us know if we can help you plan your next trip to Alaska.